Hey guys, welcome back to our channel to go find a Nungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So today I'm going to be reacting to Does God Have a Name? So without wasting time, let's get into the video. You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Does God have a name? The Quran says that we should glorify the name of God. So what is God's name? The Quran also says that to God belongs the most beautiful names. So does he have many names? Is his name the same in all the three Abrahamic religions? With me to answer those questions, Brother Shabir Ali, Brother Shabir, uh, what is God's name? <laughs> well, uh, God has many names according to the Quran. You, you said it rightly. And the Quran says uh, you should call God by these uh, names. Uh, one of the most uh, popular names for God in, in the Quran, or one that is repeated so many times, uh, more, more than any other, is the, the, the word Allah. Hmm. Uh, it, it's mentioned in the Quran some 2,698 times. Uh, the, the word Allah literally means the God. Uh, or at least this is what some etymologists uh, trace it back to, to mean. Because in, in, in the Arabic language, you know when we say in the formula of the Muslim faith, there is no God but God, uh, that uh, uses two words for God, no God but God. Uh, the, the no God part uses uh, a common word for God, ilah, and uh, the but God part, uh, which is affirming belief in the one true God, that is using the word Allah, mm. which is uh, something like the God. So mm -hmm. Al Ila. Mm -hmm. This is what some people think that uh, the, the or is the background uh, of this word and hence its meaning. But Muslims use it as the personal name for God, and we can see this in, in fact because the. The Quran says that Muslims are not to eat uh, foul things on which the name of God has not been mentioned. And uh, how do Muslims uh, follow this dictate then? Uh, in preparing their, their uh, food for consumption, Muslims will then recite the name of God. And what name do they recite? They recite Allah. They say Bismik, uh, uh, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, in the name of Allah and Allah is the greatest. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, to, that establishes that in the Muslim usage, the word Allah is not just simply a generic term for God, but it is also his personal name. So I am a human being and I have a particular name. My name is Shabir. My name is not human being. Mm -hmm. But in the case of God, because there is only one God, uh, whether you say the God or you say uh, another name that, that particularly denotes this God, you are still referring to that one God. And so the generic reference to God is also his personal name. At mm -hmm. least this is how it is dealt with in the Islamic tradition. So what about in English then? Is it appropriate for Muslims to, to refer to God as God? Should they say the God? How should they refer to God? Well, well in, in English, uh, an interesting tradition developed in that uh, God uh, referring to the one true God uh, was, at least in a Judeo-Christian Islamic context, uh, refer to uh, in the cap with a capital G. So, so God with a capital G refers to the one true God. Mm -hmm. Whereas if we were speaking about some other God, let's say a pagan idol, then uh, we would use G-O-D still, but lowercase g. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, not everyone will accept this distinction, uh, but uh, in the Abra Abrahamic tradition among Jews, Christians, and Muslims, this uh, seems to be an ongoing uh, tradition. But that is represented so in print, but never in sound. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if a Muslim were to say God and uh, intend the one true God, then there is no harm in using the English word God. In fact, uh, we, we, I, I spoke about the distinction between uh, God, the, the term where we say no God and we say ilah. Well, the, the translation of ilah is precisely God, any God, whether true or false. Uh, because we're, we're basically denying the validity of every other God except the one true God. Mm -hmm. But that one true God is also God. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that sense, we see that the Quran uh, uses the term ilah. Uh, for example, in the last chapter of the Quran, where it says, ilahin nas, he is the God of humankind. Th that would be the precise translation. Uh, and, and it would not be correct at that point to say, Allah of humankind. Mm -hmm. He's God of humankind. That, that would be the correct translation. So the Quran itself uses the term God or the equivalent, 
of the English God. Mm -hmm. How would uh, Arab Christians refer to God then? Would they say Allah as well? Yes, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, 15th edition, uh, this is precisely what, how um, uh, Jews and, and Christians who speak Arabic, um, this is how they also refer to, to God, by using this term Allah. Mm -hmm. Now, what about people who don't speak Arabic then? Jews and Christians who don't speak Arabic? Um, uh, well, I, I wanted to add also, b before I go to that, if you mm -hmm. don't mind, that uh, uh, Jews and, and, and Christians, may, even speaking Arabic, may have other ways of designating God. But then okay. we have to now think about the biblical representation of God and the mention of his names. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but I just wanted to squeeze that in as a side comment mm -hmm. for the moment, so if you don't example, mind. So, for example, Lord or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and, and some of those are co uh, common with Muslim practice as well, because the Muslims can say, Rabbana, our mm -hmm. Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, uh, to your other question, what about uh, our Jews, Jewish and Christian friends who do not speak Arabic? Well, what, what might, might they, uh, how might they refer to God? Um, in, in the uh, uh, Jewish scriptures, which Christians regard as the Old Testament, uh, many names for God are, are mentioned. Uh, one popular name for God is Eloh, which almost sounds like the Arabic Allah. Uh, and sometimes it is given in the plural, Elohim, which literally means gods in the plural, but uh, it is uh, taken to be a, 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 a way of respectfully speaking about the one true God. Mm. Um, so it has the I am suffix, which is a plural suffix, but it's not meant to be plural here, it's just the one God, uh, but great in his majesty is referred to in this plural way. Uh, and sometimes just simply El, the shortest form, uh, and that uh, corresponds to the Arabic ilah. Um, God is also referred to in some of the traditions within the books from Genesis to uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, and also in the rest of the Hebrew Bible as Yahweh. Mm. Yahweh. Um, and, and Yahweh is the um, best estimate of how the word should be pronounced. Otherwise, uh, uh, words in in the Hebrew language as in the Arabic language, might be written with consonants only, but trained readers of the language know what vowels to fill in. It so happens that the, with the word uh, YHWH, which gives rise to our pronunciation Yahweh, um, was not pronounced because it was uh, felt that this is the name of God and it is sacred, and uh, our unholy tongues uh, should not be pronouncing the name uh, of God. So what uh, readers of the Bible tended to do was to, when they came to the name of God uh, that is represented by the four letters YHWH, the equivalent in Hebrew, uh, instead of trying to pronounce that name of God, they would say the Lord as a substitute. Uh, and uh, uh, that, that became the prevailing practice. And so in English translations of the Bible, uh, that is what we find. Uh, but uh, some uh, readers of the Bible became dissatisfied with this uh, procedure and felt that the name of God should be pronounced. Uh, for example, in, uh, if, if we do not so pronounce So these were Jews who felt dissatisfied or, or Christians? Uh, uh, actually, some Christians I have in mind, specifically the Jehovah's Witnesses, mm -hmm. uh, they uh, um, follow a rendition of this name uh, uh, that comes from the Middle Ages. Uh, where it was uh, pronounced by a Christian scholar as Jehovah. Mm -hmm. Jehovah. What he did there was he combined the, the four letters, Y-H-W-H, uh, the four consonants, uh, with vowels that belonged to the expression, the Lord, Adonai. And, and by this curious combination, he arrived at Yehovah, and that was further anglicized, uh, anglicized into Jehovah. And so it was thought that Jehovah is the name of God. The King James Version of the Bible uses the name Jehovah in four places. And so this is widely known to Christians uh, uh, more generally because the King James Version of the Bible was a popular rendition and was in fact the standard rendition in, in English for about 300 years. And it's come to be replaced by some modern versions. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses though make a point about this because they feel that I there is some confusion uh, resulting from not mentioning the name of God. 
Uh, for example, in the 110th Psalm, if we follow the way in which uh, the name of God has been replaced by the Lord, we have the curious statement, the Lord said to my Lord. Mm. Uh, so th th there seems then to be some uh, confusion about who is who, uh, at least for Jehovah's Witnesses. And the way of uh, remedying that is for them to insert the name Jehovah back into the uh, into the Bible where translators had substituted the Lord for Yahweh. Uh, some so other, other Christians then don't necessarily use Jehovah as, as much? Uh, as much. Uh, it seems though, like they of use course, my Lord much more. Uh, exactly. Okay. So then for Jehovah's Witnesses then things become a little bit more clear because where it says the Lord said to my Lord, now it is Jehovah said to my Lord. Hmm. And, um, and my Lord here could be used uh, as an address for uh, any person uh, out of respect, uh, just like we have the House of Lords in, in London. It's not uh, a house of gods, but a house of respectable people. Uh, some other Christian Bibles, though, in modern times, uh, are coming back to, to, to this usage of, um, uh, of, of Yahweh. Uh, the New Jerusalem Bible uh, puts the term Yahweh, uh, wherever other Bibles have used uh, the Lord as a substitute, and uh, so too the World English Bible, which is widely available for free uh, on the web. We're running out of time. Is there any mm. last comment that you want to make on this discussion about God's name? Well, I, I should say that the Quran uh, mentions that God has many beautiful names and we should call upon him by these beautiful names. At, at, at the end of uh, the 59th chapter of the Quran, many of the names are put in succession where it says uh, he is God. There is no God but he. Uh, Al-Malik, the king. Al-Quddus, uh, the holy one. As-Salam, the peace, and so on. Uh, we, we should uh, recite this passage of the Quran and uh, often it is recited in mosques because uh, many uh, uh, many Muslims are attracted to this passage of the Quran because it contains so many names of God. All right, thank you for your time, Brother Shabir. You're welcome. We'll take a break. When we return, we will answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. Uh, 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 many Muslims are attracted to this passage of the Quran because it contains so many names of God. All right, thank you for your time, Brother Shabir. You're welcome. We'll take a break. When we return, we will answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. Very interesting video. Um, does God have a name? Isn't God a name? God itself is a name, but then I like the way he broke it down by stating that um, among different people, different religions, um, God does have other names. And uh, not just one name, but different names as well. Um, which is very interesting. I've actually reacted to the 99 names of Allah, or is it the 99? Yeah, the 99 names of Allah, and they were just so, so interesting. People actually have, people actually refer to God by those names, and they don't even know it. You just say it, and you don't understand why you say it, but you just know you want to use that word when talking to God, the, the merciful God, the most forgiving, God, you don't even realize you're saying it, but you do say it. You just don't realize it and perhaps accept it as a name, which is all right as well. Otherwise, we, we've got to answer to our question, and this was very, very interesting. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. Thank you very much. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.